my message here, my share is here, don't reject anything of you, but embrace and appreciate even those parts that you perhaps not that uh, happy with about. Uh, work with them, uh, be joyful and playful. A uh, few questions perhaps that you can play with and go to uh, deeper within is uh, go back into your earliest childhood memory and uh, try to recall on what you felt when you play something. What, uh, what was your uh, most a joyful moment in your childhood and what is what you've been doing what you've been thinking who you've been surrounded with in uh, this energy space is hidden your passion is hidden your gift is hidden your true heart desire and there in those childhood memories we can find also answers why we reject certain parts of ourselves why we are in fear to uh, to expand and uh, experience our true selves why we fear of being judged or being uh, rejected or being shamed of why we accept that something that somebody whoever that it is is true so we literally need to find our own truth so to embrace our inner child and play with it and uh, uh, put more energy and time and on daily basis in nourishing that part of ourselves and in this uh, uh, energy space in this inner space is hidden our truth is hidden our freedom to be who we are in most authentic self so this is not easy work and for many of us uh, can last decades as for myself <laughs> it took me half a century <laughs> to to really to really trust fully in who I am and uh, what helps me on that part is creativity and being child childlike <laughs> hence my hairstyle <laughs> in being childlike and experiment and explore and being curious and being uh, free to follow on my spontaneous childlike impulses not always <laughs> there is times when we should not do that but we have to have a, a daily routine kind of of half an hour one hour playing as a child either either with your kids or with uh, on our own or uh, throw ourselves in a hobby or uh, creative in deva whatever that it is it's our human need to be creative and creativity is hidden in that inner child so all is uh, interconnected and to tap into serious questions of our lives and who we are etc we really first to have to start with our inner child and trust it and as soon as we start to embrace that spontaneity and freedom to be we will start to uh, it will start to open up uh, another dimension, another possibility, another creative solution. We rise our vibration, we deal with uh, uh, mundane life and issues and challenges much more effortlessly and easier, etc. Et <laughs> I hope you spend few minutes at least, if not more, a day being uh, in touch with your inner child. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Bye for now.